Hey everybody, I am back today with another cut to you layout. Today I'm going to be working in my mini album. And I'm going to go ahead and start with the cut file. So the cut file I am using is Dragonfly. I will have a link to the blog post down below so you can grab this cut file if you like. I am not also have some stamps. I do not end up using one of those, but I end up using the other one. I also have some ink and um, some other goodies here. I have some washi tape too. I'm going to use that in a little bit. I'm going to start with the cut file. I'm going to back the body of my dragonfly using some black cardstock. This is a really simple, easy way to back a big part of a cut file. I'm just going to back his body and then the wings I'm going to play with a little bit. So I have Tutti Fruity and Sauna inks from Katherine Poehler and I have a blending brush. I'm just going to go ahead and do some ink blending on my dragonfly. So the reason I chose to do uh, ink blending with my Katherine Poehler inks, I usually do ink blending with my Distress Oxides, is because I'm going to stamp a background using these same two colors and I wanted everything to match perfectly. Catherine Polar inks will blend uh, pretty nicely. You can see here I got a really nice blend with them on this cut file. I definitely prefer the way Distress Oxide Oxides blend better, but for this kind of project where I want everything to kind of match perfectly, uh, it was the best option. And I don't think I have an orangey red color like this that would really do what I wanted it to do. So I knew Tutti Fruity would be this perfect orangey red color, which uh, meant we were going Catherine Polar <laughs> instead of Distress Oxides. But I do really like how this dragonfly turned out. He turned out so, so cute. I just love him. So once I had my a butterfly, or my dragonfly, he's not a butterfly, he's a dragonfly. Um, I set him, set him aside. I definitely did ha have a thing where butter, dragonflies are hims, butterflies are hers. I don't know why they could be either or, it doesn't matter, Just that's just the pronoun I use. Um, I wanted to do some stamping. So this stamp set is an ultra new stamp set. It is called Simple Flowers. It's one of my scrapbooking stamps that I think are um, super usable and fun. And I'm not gonna use these to make flowers. I'm just using the circles that are in the stamp set and I'm going to create a background. So I have two four by eight white cardstock pieces here and I'm just gonna make like a swath of stamped circles. I'm going to do all the all of these kind of wonky circles in Tutti Fruity and then I came back in with actually this is catching rays. Um, so the yellow I'm using is not sauna it's catching rays. They're very close though so I, I think sauna is just a bit more orangey and catching rays tends to be more on the yellow side. So this is just a circle stamp and it, it's, it's part of that stamp set, but I have lots of stamps that are just plain circles. So any kind of like circle stamp you might have would work. And I'm just going to stamp kind of like this diagonal swoosh of circles across my page. And now I can lay the butter, the dragonfly down. Look how cute he is. Oh, love him. I am going to go ahead and glue him down using some Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive Glue, and then I'm going to cut the two separate pages. Now, I am going to map my photo. I'm going to put my photo down, and um, through the course of this, <laughs> through the course of this video, his head is going to be cut in half, um, but by the end of the video, I had pretty much decided that I didn't want his head cut in half. And the longer I looked at it, the longer I'm not, the more I'm not going to like it. So when this layout was all finished, 
and I went to put my mini album away, I pulled the other half of his head off. So you'll see that it looks much better now. Um, actually, in the close-ups and in the final project of photos. But for now, we have his head. So I have cut, now this is uh, the album I made myself, the mini album I made myself. It's ring bound. It's the size of a traveler's notebook and it has these scalloped edges across the bottom. I cut my white cardstock to hit before the scalloped edge and then I'm gonna take some washi tape to kind of cover that seam up because I didn't want to cover up the scalloped edges at the bottom of my project. Uh, I did, I do love that aspect of the book. It's like one of my favorite parts. So I just decided that I would kind of cut it since I was working kind of out of the book and then putting my, my pages back in that I would use that washi tape to kind of provide almost like, um, an ending spot or like a seam binding or, um, a border so it kind of looks so that the the scalloped part is fully integrated into the design and doesn't look out of place. So I have all of these little fussy cut flowers. These are minte flowers from the floral book uh, and I have a bunch fussy cut. I fussy cut specific flowers in these like orangey yellow tones and I'm gonna use those as my embellishments, keeping the embellishing really simple and light. And I really, you can kind of get an idea now of why I decided that the other half of the bug just needed, to, the other half of the dragonfly just needed to go. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time today remembering the word dragonfly. Seriously. So once I have all my flowers in place, my little embellishment clusters, I'm going to go ahead and add that last little bit of the washi tape. I love that washi tape detail. It worked really well. It did exactly what I wanted it to. The next thing I'm going to do is I am going to grab some Nuvo Drops in Morning Dew. Morning Dew Nuvo Drops are clear, so they dry completely clear. They just add some shine, some glossiness, and I'm going to fill in the dragonfly body. So we have a shimmery, shiny dragonfly body. And if you haven't figured out yet why I decided to get rid of the other half of the bug's head, I'm sure you're noticing it now. It looks completely disjointed and out of place. Like, like wrong, totally out of place. Um, and I think it's because when I created the, both of the pages, I didn't uh, visually accommodate for the fact that there was a huge binder, like the, <laughs> there was the ring binding in the middle. Anyway, now you can see that I have taken off the other half of the dragonfly's head and it looks much better. It just kind of looks like he's flying into the binding and the rest of his head would be where the binding is and that's good. Um, and I really like how those layouts are done. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.